In this video we're going to be reviewing our rules for integers <coughs> uh, concerning addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So the first two we'll talk about is addition and subtraction. And we have two rules that we'll follow. Same signs add or different signs subtract. <clears throat> so we'll have, if we have the same signs we'll add and if we have different signs we'll subtract. And we will Always keep the sign of the bigger number. And that works for addition or subtraction. So here's an example. Say I have two plus negative three. I have a positive 2 and a negative 3, so I have different signs, so I'll subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1, and I'm going to keep the sign of the bigger number, so I'll keep the negative coming from the 3. Like that, that's my answer. Say I have negative 6 minus 5. We have a negative 6, and that minus 5 we can think of as a negative. So these are actually same signs, negative 6 minus 5. So same signs add, and then keep the sign of the larger number, so that will be negative as well. Different signs subtract on number 1. Number 1, different signs subtract. Number 2, same signs add. Number 3 is our special case. I'm going to have that minus a minus. So say I had negative 4 minus negative 2. Remember, this is that <clears throat> special one where if I have minus a minus, I can turn that into a big plus sign, eating up those negatives. So I ended up with a negative 4 and a positive 2. So now I have different signs. Different signs subtract. And then we'll keep the sign of the larger number. So I'm going to keep the negative coming from the 4 like that. So that's our addition and subtraction. With some examples. Same signs add, different signs subtract, always keep the sign of that bigger number, and don't forget about our big plus sign. Next we'll have multiplication and division. So for multiplication, if I do a positive times a positive, that will equal a positive. If I do a negative times a negative, that will equal a positive. So when my signs are the same for multiplication, 
my answer will be positive. Negative times a negative, positive. Positive times a positive, positive. And when my signs become different than each other, negative times a positive is a negative. And if I switch it, it stays the same. Positive times a negative is a negative. And these same rules hold true for if I'm doing division. So I can do the same exact thing, but instead of multiplication, I'm just changing it to division, and all these rules stay the same. Positive divided by a positive is positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then a negative divided by a positive is a negative. And a positive divided by a negative is a negative. So let's do some examples. Let's say I have negative 2 times negative 4. When I have a negative times a negative. So negative times a negative will be a positive. So I'll multiply the numbers together. 2 times 4 is 8. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. So it'll just stay as a positive 8. What if I did negative 5 times positive 6? We'll multiply the numbers together. 5 times 6 is 30. And then I'll do a negative times a positive. So negative times a positive equals a negative. So it's going to be a negative 30. Same kind of rules for division. So if I'm looking at division, I can, let's try negative 35 divided by positive 7. If I do a negative, 35 divided by 7 is 5. 35 divided by 7 is 5. And then a negative divided by a positive, negative divided by a positive is a negative. So my answer would be negative 5. And what if I did negative 42 divided by negative 6. What would that equal? Well, 42 divided by 6 is 7, and then a negative divided by negative is a positive, so it's going to stay positive 7. So remember when you're doing these, uh, just keep track of your rules. Take your time. There's no reason to rush. Your goal is to get them correct, not to finish quickly. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.